Welcome to Universal Studios. Both of the moving walkways are broken. Back at Universal Orlando Resort today because they've opened the Summer Tribute Store. It is 94 degrees outside base temperature right now. And so we cut through the store, soak up a little AC. In the City Walk store, they've got some Epic Universe stuff. How to Train Your Dragon, generic Epic Universe things, spirit sweaters, t-shirts, and more How to Train Your Dragon. Universal has gone to town this week, announcing six original haunted houses for Halloween Horror Nights. They now have four houses left to announce, assuming those will all be IP based. Also assuming the first of those IP houses will be Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Assuming that they'll announce that on Ghostbusters Day, June 8th. Of the originals that were announced, probably the most exciting is the return of Slaughter Cinema, Slaughter Cinema 2. Betty Boop is out. Hello. But we're heading over to the video store. Oh my. This tape looks suspiciously familiar to Towley. Don't forget to bring a towel. Let's head on in. There's a lot of glare. But Laser Dungeon is now open. Gurg the Llama. The Amity Island players present Snowless in the Water. Ah, and the Tribute Theater. We've got Jaws, Ghostbusters, E.T., and Back to the Future. A little preview here for the HHN Tribute Store. It'll open up August 30th and run through November 3rd. Lost Dog. We believe you. And Chef Donkey's Waffles. The Mega Car Wash. A little nod here for Ray's Occult Books. Archaic, Archaic Keys, Mega Video Card. I love the different throwbacks for the cars here too for sale, including the 1964 and a half inch coach for only 1313. It's probably for sale on Mockingbird Lane, but who knows. There's new snacks in the arcade. And there's rules for Twister. New releases. Here's Tally again. Oh boy. Flash Gordon in the house. Hi. Here's some megalomaniac video cases. Oh, I like this one. That Danger Road over here looks like Spuds McKenzie. It's a couple of our buddies. Find even more movies. Ooh, I like the green Ghostbusters hat. I like that a lot. You can buy that Betamax. Ah, oh, and here's an ad for Universal's daytime parade that's coming. Very much looking forward to that. It starts July 3rd. Got a big ad for Psycho. Oh, the Commodore 64. I love it. Got a throwback again with him from the last HHN Tribute Store. And the sign up above, free repair TVs and camcorders. If you guys remember, old program print shop on the Commodore 64 and Apple. An Atari 800XL. That seems to be like where that might have been printed from. There's an ad here for the escape room. Also an ad for the video store itself. Join the dozens of customers with great movie taste. Try up all your broken tech here. It still looks like Tally. And we've got floppies here. Mega Castle Arcade. Prices for rentals. New releases, two bucks. Some movies being brought back in this plastic bag and a VHS tape rewinder. This looks like a sealer for plastic for sealing your video membership cards. Owl skeleton. Bushes flutter. There's a lot of Easter eggs here. I 
Another sign likely made from print shop. Slimer. Here we got an ad for Ghostbusters. Oh, who doesn't want to see this? The Universal Story and Magic of the Movies. Oh, we got all kinds of movies here. Iceman, hilarious. We've got some Back to the Future merch, some pins. Future charger, flux capacitor shirt, and Flash Gordon is lying down for some reason. Is that a sign? Bell Star Galactica, oh my god. Midnight Screaming. And Miami Vice. They have a pretty extensive horror collection. Including some selections from the first Slaughter Cinema. Amazon Cannibals from Planet Hell and The Beast Baby. E.T. is my homeboy. More Back to the Future merch. Powered by Flux Capacitor. Hey, rewind. Or be oh, so Back to the Future cute. lanyards and pasts and this. headbands and fanny packs. Whoa, dude, this tie-dye shirt is 40 smackaroos. It's interesting, a lot of these are in alphabetical order. But then you get to Abbott and Costello meets the Invisible Man and it's out of place. More Back to the Future stuff. This metal bottle is pretty cool. Pints. This sweatshirt is 70 bucks. The only thing you can say about that is, what the Shrek? Shrek pint glasses, 17 bucks. Donkey. Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona, and Dragon. What's happening here? I'm peeking inside. Get out. Kid section with a little nod to Woody Woodpecker here and Survival Goes West, an American Tale. HR Puffin stuff. Got some Jaws stuff. That's the front of the Jaws shirt. And the back, Shark Doors. I like that. Oh, this is a fun hat. Some signs. Some of this stuff has been around the park for quite some time. Another Jaws shirt, that's the front. That's the back. Jaws hat. Ah, uh, they have a little Jaws sun hat here too. That's cool. We got more Ghostbusters. If you put your hands on the TV, will you call forth any ghosts? Kind of merge Ghostbusters and Poltergeist together here. Stay Puff. Oh, Arcade next. The Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew. Sean Cassidy. Mary's favorite. Holy cow, heart beeps. I'm embarrassed to say I saw that in the movie theater when it came out. SeaWorld <laughs> one. The greatest movie in this store. More Easter eggs. What is this movie? Now I want to I want to watch this now. We have some classic Nintendo games here as well as Atari 2600 ET. Classic. And also, well, nod to Earl here. ET e. merch. It's three fifty-seven. A little ET e. doll up there and Godzilla monster deals. Also, I got this video card. Do you think they're actually going deep into the office? where Kevin invented a new numerical value called a Clevin. Let's go into the arcade. That's pretty wizard. We're bringing it back. As with previous stores, they have some coins that you can make. Back to the Future, E.T., Jaws, and Ghostbusters. And this machine is out of magic. Well, that's pretty cool. Some Shrek goodies. And 
the Multicade is also out of magic. But Gurg's alien adventure is functioning. Oh, Gurg is stuck in there like E.T. Oh my lord. This is ridiculous for those that lived this in the 80s. Run, Gerg. Oh, snap. Back in the hall. More Jaws merch. <laughs> so much to see here. Universal Quest 5. Oh my goodness. Right next to it is Mrs. Dumpty. It's kind of a throwback to Ms. Pac-Man. Same color scheme too. Haas. He's got his initials up there and Gerg. Halloween Horror Nights, the game. Tribute Brawler. Ah, and there's a token up here. Somebody's got next already. Duffy and Edwards. There's Skipper Haas. Universal Quest. It's on a hoverboard. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh. You can check out the snacks that they have. A little E.T. in a basket. Triple cake. E.T. caramel apple. Some cake pops here from Jaws, E.T. and Shrek. Donkey's Waffle S'more. Fields Swamp Cake Pop. Some cookies. Some Shrek onions. Oh my. That looks amazing. Today is your birthday, Greg. It's kind of another nod to the office. But anyway, you can trade in your tickets here and uh, get some items. Let's see what else we Some little buy. things to trade your tickets in for. The Vampire Chief. That's the entrance to your Laser Dungeon and Dueling Dragons. Some more Dueling Dragons nods. Oh no, not my gumdrop buttons. New game coming soon. More jaw stuff. And into the Tribute Theater. Turn on your heart light. Let it shine wherever you go. Some ghost busting stuff. More ghost busters. Venkman has fallen down. So is Dana. They are selling the figures. $42. There's a lot of stuff happening up here though. Got the clock tower and the Jaws boat. Ghostbusters. E.T. There's a star for the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Earl the Squirrel. It's a Back to the Future denim jacket. Nice. And we've got some Ghostbusters happening. And then probably the coolest thing that they're selling here is this E.T. hat. That is absolutely ridiculous. But who wouldn't want this E.T. hat? He's so adorable. More Ghostbuster stuff, boxer briefs, sweatpants, shirts, hats, socks, toys, beanies. This Jaws mug is ridiculous. 25 bucks. Halloween, Back to the Future. 
Save the clock tower. And the exit. Coming soon, the thing. American Graffiti and Conan. And we're out. And back towards DreamWorks land. They are doing pass holder previews. I didn't sign up for the pass holder event because honestly I don't have a little kid anymore. And I wanted spots to go to people that have little kids. It does look like a lot of fun though and it'll be here. For now, E.T. Hello, I'm Steven Spielberg and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the E.T. adventure. Goodness, it smells so good in here. <sighs> Help E.T. Mad Dog. You have saved our planet. Come celebrate with us. All right, so ET I think had some TLC done to it since the last time that we've been in it. It was closed for a little bit. I think I saw some things lit up that haven't been lit up in a while and moving that haven't been moving in a while. The tribute store. It's another tribute store. There's a lot of Easter eggs in there. Quite honestly, it kind of reminds me of like the blockbuster experience that we did a couple of times this year. There was nothing in there that made me want to buy something else that was for sale in that store. Ultimately, I think it is the job of a store to actually sell merchandise. That said, I think a lot of that stuff will end up at the end of the year garage sale. And I do love the folks that design that store and put it out every quarter, it seems like now. But I do think there's a line between Easter eggs and really just featuring yourself prominently in the store over and over. I think the stores have reached the point where some folks are featured too prominently or too often. Jokes like the Gerg thing, it's kind of jump the shark. Overall though, the store is fun to spend some time looking around at, mostly at the different movie titles that they have in there. I do think the Jurassic Park store that they did last year was probably the best that they've ever done, and I'm not sure that they'll be able to top it. Plus, they had a lot of cool photo ops. This time around, really no photo ops that I could think of. They had the advertisement in there for the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. So I guess we'll see what they come up with for that store. To me, it's all kind of just blending all together at this point. But I think that's gonna do it for me for now. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.